first memory of Indy is the old Speedway Motel. Um, you know, I think playing up there in the balcony, trying to get my lap times down on, around the, the hotel, uh, listening to Carnegie. watching closed circuit, watching four of my family members at one time, and trying to sneak into the pits illegally. His father, Michael, never started on the pole position at the Indy 500. His grandfather, Mario, did some 33 years ago. Could Marco create a special piece of Andretti Indy 500 history here today? This is one place where it's, there's one position that matters. 500 miles is a long time, and the first two thirds is about putting yourself in the, in the position to be there in the shootout at the end. It's a bummer. I, I got to take advantage of every shot out here. I really do because seconds nothing. Yeah, I think why you saw me so mad is, uh, and I got criticized for it as a rookie. You know, it was a great day as a rookie, but I was so mad because I knew what I just missed out on, and I knew that it's possible that I'm sitting here talking to you 15 years from now, from then, and it I haven't won it. You know, so I knew how close I was. And uh, I knew they don't grow on trees, those, those type of opportunities, you know, where you catch the, the right yellow, the right restart, you have new tires, and, um, you know, you're racing your dad for the lead. I mean, it was just, it was a, almost a fairy, fairy tale ending. This day is done. The field for the 104th running of the Indianapolis 500, presented by Cambridge, will be set. Welcome to the world's greatest race course. Today will be the Fast 9 shootout. Question is, uh, does anyone have anything for Marco Andretti? It's, it's a stressful day because you have to get it, you know, just right from lap 1 to 4. You have to make sure to fall off, make sure you're not having to lift the last lap. So it's, it's about picking the right down for us. Nail in the conditions. The wind is brisk. It's got a heavy tailwind down this front straightaway, which meaning a headwind down the back. It, there's so much stuff you can't control that day, you know. So I think if you can just get that out of your mind and just go drive, it's uh, it helps. I mean, they were talking about dominating the front row, and uh, they're going to rely on Marco Andretti to have a car on the front row. Yeah, that's right. There's no car on the front row, which is a surprise at, at, when you had the fastest four times of yesterday. Fascinating run about to unfold before our very eyes. Michael Andretti into turn number one. 234 miles an hour, so he's matched Scott Dixon down the back straightaway. Right now, there's not an Andretti car in the front row, so it's uh, we're gonna have some a lot of homework to do tonight and this afternoon to try and understand why that's the case. 74 starts for the Andretti family at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Three poles that all belong to Mario. Can his grandson, Marco Andretti, now duplicate that feat? He is right there with Scott Dixon. It is level on time and speed right now. 231, 485, the two lap average after lap number three. White flag in the air, still fast enough. 231.247 at three lap average. He's gonna miss it. He's gonna miss it. Final turn coming up. There has not been an Andretti on the pole position at Indy for 33 years. Can Marco do it? The yard of bricks is waiting. What does it say? Checkered He's done flag. it! Checkered flag. Marco Andretti is on the pole position. He's done something that guy there, his father Michael, was never able to do. Marco Andretti is the pole setter for the 104th Indianapolis 500. I 
think this was huge for our family. You know, I think it's uh, it's it's kind of cool personally to, to have done something my dad didn't do. Three and four was catchy. <laughs> right, so um, so that feels cool. What do you think of the job your son just did? Fantastic. I mean, it was unbelievable. I mean, the car was just so loose, and he just didn't he didn't take his foot off the throttle, and uh, he drove the hell out of it. You know, after the first three guys went, I'm like, we have no shot, and. Uh, but he kept it in there. He did a hell of a job. So I'm really happy for Marco. You know, uh, they've had a solid month, you know, and he deserves this. You know, I know uh, I know what this place means to his family and, and uh, him especially, and it's good to see him, I think, even under this pressure to make it, you know, work. It almost feels like a victory. The 33 year thing is awesome. Like the last poll for our family here was, I was two months old. This month of August has gone almost like a fairy tale and I'm not even gonna look back. I'm gonna try to steamroll it and keep the momentum going and try to win the race. Marco Andretti, Davey, a fascinating two days unfolded here for qualifying for the 104th 500.